in 2019, the oil and gas explorer Cosmos Energy, it made one of the largest discoveries of natural gas in the waters offshore Mauritania, where it sees potential to extract 50 trillion cubic feet of gas and around 8.9 billion barrels of oil. Ashishish! You think gas is just about Russia, Russia. No! Welcome to Wisdom of Africa, and in this video, I'll break down the meaning of Hassani proverbs from Mauritania. <laughs> Proverb number one says, when the ass drinks, he does not care whether or not the well collapses. I'll do as I want, I do as I please. That's not actually a very good attitude to have. Sometimes you need to care about other people, take them into consideration in order to be humble, not to be selfish, not to be egoist, because sometimes it's actually not very good to be, you know, with a don't care attitude. Like I said, you never know who, when or, or how you're going to sometimes need somebody to help you assuming the well actually collapses maybe next time the ass goes to drink some water there's not going to be a well for it to have water simple as that if it cared then it will ha keep having a place where it goes to to drink more water that's how i would break down this problem it brings us to problem number it is the jackal who refuses to look after the herd. This proverb alludes to hypocr hypocrisy because jackals like to be with sheep simply because they can eat them. Why would you refuse to look after the herd knowing very well that you can eat some of the sheep anyway? Hypocrisy. We have oil. We have gold. We have diamonds. Jesus Christ, what don't we have? We have timber. We have gas. The jackal, in other words, the leaders, the presidents, you sell off all these material things and then you um, enrich yourself and those closest to you, but not giving back anything in, in terms of building schools, hospitals, things that benefit citizens from within your country. Stop being hypocrites and saying you're not going to look after the herd. Look after your herd. <laughs> Proverb number three says, The camel, when it lies down, is difficult to raise. Female camels will, on a long journey across the desert, walk until they literally, literally die in their footsteps. Whereas, the male camels will long before they reach exhaustion throw themselves down and refuse to get up. <laughs> In normal cases, normally, the African woman is left with a very big burden of caring for the family. Sometimes the husbands died maybe and left her with six, seven children or the husbands run off with another woman, but the woman will work and work and work, honestly, work to her death. The queens of Africa. On the other hand, the man has left his responsibilities behind, in which case is throwing themselves to the ground like the male camel before it actually works itself to death. Our African brothers out there, please listen to us. Don't let us work till our death. We need support. We need help. We need care. Don't throw yourself to the ground before you actually reach breaking point. When a woman is going and going and going, the very least you could do is please go and go and go with her. It brings us to proverb number four. Proverb number four from Mauritania says, 
it is a rainy season without beetles. A rainy season without beetles is the ideal weather for the Hassani people. The Bizan do not like beetles because they are always, always rolling dung balls. Just think of the beetle as a person who likes shit stirring. Hmm? Shit stirring. You're always forming words and lying on people and creating, you know, fracas within relationships or communities and things like that. Nobody wants beetles. Nobody wants shit starers. Stay away from them. Proverb number five says, the donkey brays and the dog suffers back pain. This particular proverb is used for things that have nothing to do with each other. I'll give you a very, very good example. Generally, in most African cultures, it's, it's seen as the in thing for a woman or a girl to get married by a certain age. Hmm? Lest you stay home in your parents' house until you're 30, 31. 32 going to your 40s ah that girl she's not married she's not good enough she doesn't have the, no manners no this seriously what is your problem what has it got to do with you what has it got to do with you do do you do you know why the person's not married and who said everybody has to get married when you want them to get married i mean the donkey braid. What's the dog's problem? People, get yourselves out of people's business. If it has nothing to do with you, just leave it. Did you know that when astronauts go up, one of the landmarks that they look out to see is the eye of Africa 